People opening fire in public places has sadly become more common. In fact, last night, our special report looked at the safety of airports after the LAX shooting that resulted in the death of a TSA officer. Tonight, we're taking a closer look at how officers in the Valley are training to handle these kind of attacks. Good for Utah's Kimberly Nelson joins us live in studio with more tonight. Kimberly. It's 300 degrees of live action, or at least as live as you can get. From single shooter scenarios to hostage situations, this state of the art simulator is teaching our local law enforcement how to react in life and death situations. Guns ready, two unified police officers walk into Virtual 300 and right into a school shooting. It's just a simulator, but it feels real. Where's he at? Where's the shooter? Where's he at? Can you tell us where he's at? It's, it's very real. It, uh, it's very real to me. Um, and it's as close as to a real life scenario as I think I, as we could get to. Got right, got right, I got a shooter right, got a shooter right. Shooter down, shooter down. The simulator is meant to prepare officers for the worst case scenarios. Kids running back in. I got something over here. I got a shooter over here. No shot, no shot. She's down, shooter down. The screams, the gunfire. All meant to elicit both trained and instinctual responses. Raise your blood pressure. Raise your respirations. Get your hands sweaty. Get your heart rate going. Pointing to my rear. Pointing to my rear. There are eight speakers on this system that make it as real as we can. The screaming, the people running, the noise. Everything's about as live as we can do. You can't get that standing on a firing line with a real handgun shooting at a paper target. The $250,000 simulator is the only one in the state of Utah. And after seeing what this machine can do, a quarter of a million dollars seems like a drop in the bucket. Hostage, 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 hostage. moving right, moving drop right. The gun, drop the gun, moving drop right. the gun, drop the gun, come on, drop the gun. Drop it, drop it. What is the value of one child's life, one adult's life, one police officer's life. If we cut down one death, we have paid for this machine, this facility, ten times. Now you got a small feel for it there. It's not like a video game. You really feel like you're in danger, and the range master does have the ability to add or subtract dangers to each and every scenario. So just like in real life, they never know what's going to happen next. Now, right now, the simulator is required training for the Salt Lake County Sheriff's Department and Unified Police, but it's open to all agencies in the Valley to come and train. And I won't be surprised if it's a requirement for all agencies in the near future. Reporting live in the studio, Kimberly Nelson, Good for Utah. All right, thanks, Kimberly.